What's up guys? Drone worship in your face. And I've been watching the Facebook groups and the forums and you know, I it I think it's time to kind of go over this. Okay, there's because there's people questioning should we lubricate the hubs and motors? And I see the responses that are on the Facebook group, but I'm going to honestly say guys that I've been doing this the hobby thing for easily six years. I'm sure some of you have been doing it longer and I've never ever 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 in the history of anything that flies had a problem by lubricating any kind of bearing. Okay. Let me tell you what has happened. As you know, I put out some of you probably know I put out the initial Hubson lubrication video. Uh, and that was like over three months ago now. Um, I've had this for four months. Every single month I put one drop of oil on the top and the lower bearing. I'll show you guys how to do that today. You know, everyone in the Facebook group was saying it's a toss up, it's a toss up, should you, shouldn't you. Hubson says not to, this guy says to do it. Let me just tell you how many thank yous I've had. Maybe that'll like clear this up for you. I've had a massive number of people when my first video came out saying, dude, thank you. It got rid of a lot of the jello effect, a lot of the shaft wobble. That's noticeably running smoother. These are the thank yous I'm getting. So if you ask me, should I lubricate them? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I have yet to see it affect anyone's bird at all. No one has ever come back to me and been like, dude, I should have never done it, man. So all I'm hearing are good things. That being said, let's go ahead and lubricate these motors real fast. I'm going to show you how I do it because my original Hubson video was a little iffy. That was like three and a half months ago and I didn't quite have the proper tools to show people. I just wanted to knock it out because somebody asked a question. So I did it real flip floppy. But today is going to be the official way that I do it. Most of you guys know me. I am drone worship, man. I've been focusing on trying to put out as many videos on this to help people as I possibly can. Some people don't like me for it. Other people do. You know, I've, I, I'm Dan, man. This is just, I just want to help as many of you as I can figure out the full potential of this bird. Okay? Because there are not enough videos. There's not enough people showing you things. There's just not. So, I set out to make it a mission. So let's go ahead and show you how I lubricate the motors and what you should be looking for during this job. Um, if you go down to a local hobby shop, you can pick up some bearing lube. This is my own fun concoction. I mix a couple together because I'm looking for certain things. Um, but let's just go with, uh, this has a dash of WD-40 and this has a full synthetic blend for bearing lube. Um, it's all up to you guys what you want to choose when you go there. They have different lubrications based on RPM speed. So whatever your motors turn at or, you know, uh, this being a lower powered battery, I just buy the basically regular um, synthetic lubrication. So let's get into this. See you guys in a sec. Alright guys, as you can see, I have the hubs in here in front of me, and um, I'm going to try to explain this once again to the best of my ability. Um, get my bearing lube ready here. As in my first video, if you can take a look down this uh, inside of here, you see the copper coils. And next to the copper coils, there's a little round thing with a couple other little round pieces in there. That's actually the bearing. And all you need to do is get a drop of oil on that bearing. So you see the shaft goes right through the middle of the uh, round thing next to the copper coils. That's the bearing. All you have to do is get this to tilt sideways, basically like this, okay? so that you can see down it. I'm going to find the best uh, point of attack. You can take the props off if you want to. And all you're going to do is get uh, something with a small tip. I prefer these. These are from the vape shops. Um, they also have ones with needles, which would probably be a lot easier. I've also seen people use the, uh, I can't think of the name, what they call that thing. The syringe, I think. Is that what they call that? The I guess. And the little needle point thing. But all you're going to do is take this and put it against the shaft in there and give it boop one drop of oil okay that's it so I'm gonna see if I can do this on camera here I know this is kind of a funky angle here but I am going to put it right here and I'm going to push this down against the shaft that is currently against the shaft give one simple squeeze there we go I can physically see the oil on the bearing and now we're gonna give it a little spin oh it's like butter dude butter so let's go ahead and do them all. 
I will speed the video up from this point. go one drop make sure you spin it get it all in there nicely don't immediately take it out and fly let this saturate the bearing and now for the next part we did all four of the top let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna do one of these because this is kind of a long thing but uh, we'll go ahead and take out one of these light pods I'll show you what's going on underneath the light pod okay make sure not to lose your screws here guys you go ahead and tip that upside down and there you go if you guys can see in there I'll try to get this to where you can see in there good if you guys can see that little clip on the bottom that is where you can lubricate the bottom bearing just go ahead and drop a drop of oil on there on each one of these pods and then you can spin the motor a couple times because as you see the motor turns that C clamp in there that C clip see it so all you got to do is let it saturate that bearing. You can see the entire bearing from this point right here. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is put one drop of oil on there. There we go. Move it around a little bit. Make sure it gets on the bearing. Excellent. And let's just let it saturate. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I let it sit upside down for about 30 minutes. I let that oil, basically the top one has it in there, the bottom one's now, it's leaking into there nicely. And that's it, guys. Once a month I do that. I have had the smoothest flying bird ever. It takes a ton of jello effect out of it. And uh, if you're still having a lot of jello, then you need to balance your props with a little bit of tape. But, uh, there we go. Excellent. If you guys don't have one of these little tiny ones, you need to get one because these are the shit. And uh, they definitely speed up the process of putting birds back together. Excellent. Nice and tight. Boom. So now I'll do the rest of them. Like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory how to do that. Once every month, if you fly a lot, one drop top and bottom. Full bland synthetic lubricant oil. You pick it up at a hobby shop if you want to. You can order it online. Whatever you guys want to do. It has never, ever, ever caused me a problem with this bird. Just remember, do not fly around dirt or sand. Keep this out of dirt or sandy areas. Okay? I have no reason to pick up dust. I make sure to keep it in a very good, easy area. Every time I take off, I don't try to fly crazy. Okay? That's it, man. That's that. That's it. That's all it takes to do it, guys. There's nothing complicated about it. A little bit of lubri bearing lubrication oil, and uh, you're in like Flynn. So, this is Drone Worship, guys. I told uh, Steffens on uh, the group I would go ahead and redo my original video for people so that they could see how to properly do this. Um, and by properly, I say Drone Worship's way because I guess people are saying Hubson says not to do it. Um, I've had nothing but thank yous and greatness coming from this, so it's up to you guys, man. It's 50-50 rollover, I guess. For me, it's not. It's 100% accurate on my part, so I'm going to go ahead and say you should do this, but like I said, everyone to each their own. You guys can do whatever you want to, all right? You're grown folks. You make your own decisions, man, so you're going to make those decisions, all right? Anyways, guys, drone worship, and I'm out. to the roo Give yourself to the dark side.